Hey guys, what is going on? So today I'm going to be telling you guys my top 10 favorite Black Flag songs. So, I don't know, another video just rambling on about Black Flag. They're my favorite band of all time. And it's just really fun to talk about them. But um, I really want to just talk about their songs in general for this video. Rather than their albums or just the band as a whole like I usually do. So, uh, yeah. Um, also, I'm going to start editing my videos. Um, since I just downloaded a video editing app for my phone. Um, I don't know, I thought it would be more fun. Um, I was actually using that for, um, like, to put the picture for the album cover for my Petrifier videos for my, um, my one-man band project thing I've been doing, and I uploaded two songs the past few days. If you haven't heard those, you should check them out. I think, um, the last one I did turned out really good. Um, I really like my freaking pissed-off vocals for that song, but anyways. Um, so coming in at number 10, we have Gimme, Gimme, Gimme. Um, just an amazing song. I mean, it wasn't like, most of the songs on this list, it's like the first time I heard it. I was just like, oh my god, this is fucking awesome. It was more like I would just hear that song a lot when I would listen to the Damaged album. And then eventually, like, it just kind of grew on me over time to the point where I just really like that song. I really like the simplicity of it. It's a really memorable song that sticks in your head. And it's just a really catchy one, too, but also very angry and aggressive. And, yeah, it's a really good song. Um, and, yeah, um, my favorite version would probably be the Harry Rollins version. I'll probably just say, like, what my favorite version is for the songs I hear, that there's multiple versions with different singers. Um, but, yeah. Um, honestly, that's my favorite, like, song probably from the entire Damaged album. Actually, no. Never mind. Um, I was looking at my, I have my list written down. I should just put that right there. I have my list written down on a freaking piece of paper, so, like, yeah. Anyways, um, uh, that's probably one of my favorite songs off the Damaged album. Um, yeah. Number nine is Three Nights from My War. Side two of My War is just amazing. So underrated. I really don't get the hate against it. It's amazing. It's probably my favorite uh, part of any album of all time. But Three Nights, that's amazing. Uh, it's so dark. It's really, really, really dark. Um, the guitar work is amazing. Um, it's really simple, but I really like... I really like Greg in soloing in the three songs on Side two of My War. But Three Nights is just so good, or Henry Rollins' lyrics and vocals are just absolutely amazing on that song, and so memorable. And it was actually the part where he screams, I think you stuck my friend with knives. That was the first thing I ever heard from Black Flag. Um, like, just a bit of a song I heard in um, in the sh on the series um, Metal Evolution. Um, there was like an episode for Grind, which I don't understand why that was in a metal documentary. And they were talking about the influence that My War had on grunge. And then they play, they showed a clip from that song when they're playing it live. And Harry Rollins goes, I think you stuck my friend with knives. And I was like, huh, that's really cool. But anyways, then months later, like, um, I, I borrowed uh, I borrowed My War from a friend. But, I mean, that's, um, Three Nights is just an amazing song. It's a really, really dark song. And that's what I like about it. And that's why I love about Black Flag as a band. But it's a really fucked up sounding song. Especially at the end where he's, seeing, or he's just screaming, like, stick me over and over. But in the background, you also hear another voice, like, just going, no, and it's like, it's almost like he's, like, screaming at his ad libs or something. It's really interesting, but yeah. Um, number eight is a pretty underrated song, and a song that no one really talks about when they talk about Black Flag. Because I don't know if it would really classify as a song, but it's Armageddon Man from Family Man. Um, so it's basically what the song, it's the only song on Family Man where it has the whole band on one track since side uh, one is Harry Rollins, um, Spoken Word Inside 2 is all instrumentals, but they kind of collide together in the middle of the album on that song, and man, it's so good, so it's just Harry Rollins, Spoken Word with an instrumental in the background, but the beginning of it has this really fucked up, dark sounding riff that's just absolutely amazing and so memorable, and it's re that's really what got me into Black Flag's instrumental stuff, because at first I didn't like that kind of thing that they did, but man, that song is so good, and his, it, I, the lyrics or the the poetry or whatever so that song is really, really, really good. Um, very memorable. Or at the end, how he says, like, um, they erected a slum in my name, Harry Rollins Memorial Slum, Harry Rollins Memorial Pit. Like, in that really vile sounding voice of his. It's just really, really good. And it's a very memorable song, and it's really underrated. Um, so, yeah, I don't understand why not a lot of people talk about that song. It's such a good song. But, yeah, it's also very long. It's, like, almost ten minutes long. But it's it's flies by so quickly. It's such a good song. So yeah. So uh, coming in at number seven, we have Society's Tease, another underrated song. This is the only song on this list actually that's from In My Head, 
And that's mostly because out of all Black Flag Studio albums, other than What The, that fucking abortion of an album, um, honestly, in my head, it's probably the album I've listened to the least. It's not my my, my least favorite or anything. It's just I haven't listened. I've just never really gotten around to listening to it. I've listened to that in its entirety. I just haven't listened to it multiple times in its entirety. But my favorite song from that album is Society's Tease. It's so good. The intro riff is really, really good. And then, like, the main riff in just the song, it almost sounds kind of like a, like a hard rock or metal song. But it's, like, really, uh, I don't know, really frantic sounding. And, you know, really schizophrenic sounding. I really like Harry Rollins with his vocals. And just the song title is interesting to begin with. But, yeah, it's an absolute masterpiece. Um, it's another underrated song. But, yeah, that's my favorite song off of it in my head. I don't really have much to talk about for that song. It's just so good. So, yeah... Um...